Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies as we now attempt the impossible as the case keeps on going with Marlon Rhymes trying to get the verdict done. We are going to attempt to cross-examine an orca, a killer whale, Orla herself, when all she can say is So shall I begin pressing and see how this debacle will go down? Hold it! Miss Shipley, I'm afraid Fweet 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 is not going to get us anywhere. Hmm, this is your plan of action? If you are incapable of interpreting orca speech, this entire exercise is folly. Objection! You leave the interpretation of Orla's heart to me. Alright girl, what you got to say? Let me hear it. Oh, Orla, you're so cute! Right, Dono. Surely you don't intend to continue this farce? I do. Miss Shipley, please continue with your testimony. Well, I got nothing out of it! Oh, well, she's happy now. Hold it! We just doing this to annoy Mr. Blackwill? Could you interpret that for the court, Miss Sykes? I'm getting a strong reading of happiness. Maybe she thinks she's doing a show. I demand serious witness testimony. This is no time for fun and games. If you continue this mockery, I will subject you to 40 lashes of a wet fish. Well, this mockery is the only thing we can do to keep this case going at the moment. Not a wet noodle? That just sounds fishy. Hey, speaking from experience, anything is better than 40 lashes from a whip. The defense will please caution its witness to conduct itself with propriety. Sure. We're click fweet fweet. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Um, instead of impersonating a one orca band, could you show us the lifesaver trick? I guess Ola won't do what you want unless you give it the proper signal. Oh, doesn't Ola sing beautifully? Hmm. Taka's singing voice is much more melodic and clear. Meh. Neither one should quit their day job. Please continue your testimony, Miss Shipley. The best thing is she knows to repeat things. Hold it! Hmm. Miss Shipley seems to want to communicate something. Perhaps she's hungry. Miss Faye. Could you give Miss Shipley a snack? Certainly. One moment. <laughs> what a heartwarming scene. It reminds me of my granddaughter with her pet. Wow, your granddaughter must have a pretty large pet. Stop all this pet prattle and get on with the cross-examination. You see, it's going on. But she's such an adorable creature. I never get tired of looking at her. Silence. I, on the other hand, have had more than my fill of this tomfoolery. Enough is enough. It sounds like Prosecutor Blackwell is about to blow his top. What should I do? Should I continue the cross-examination? We're already at the end of it, aren't we? What is there to get, Phoenix? What is there to get from this? Is this just to annoy him? I don't know. What was the point in this? It kept the case going, but if I stop, will that be a bad thing? Not that I think we can actually communicate in this way with a whale, but maybe we'd have shown something by trying. I'm done playing games. I will now explain how Orla was manipulated by Mr. Rhymes. Oh, uh, will we? Okay then. In order to respond to a command, Orla needs to hear the sound of a whistle. But Mr. Rhymes isn't a trainer. I doubt he'd know how to give the signals himself. So that means he must have had help. So how did Mr. Rhymes issue commands to Orla? Well, 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 well. Subba's boyfriend has videos of her using a whistle to make the orca do tricks. Do you think it's that? Do you think it's that? Take that! Sasha told me an interesting story about Miss Summers. Azura used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orca tricks. I used to help Azura take the videos on a TV phone. 
Most likely, Mr. Rhymes still has these videos of Miss Summers. Miss Faye, could I ask for your help? Of course, Mr. Nick. What is it? You're using Mr. Rhymes' TV phone, correct? I'd like you to examine it for me. Please look for videos of Azura Summers issuing whistle commands to Orla. Um, videos? I'm not too sure how to do that, but I'll give it a try. My apologies to Marlon. Right, dunno. What are you up to? You'll see in a moment, if Pearls can find those videos for me. Mr. Nick, I found them. I found some videos like you described. You did? Thank you, Miss Faye. Just as I suspected, but how do I play them when we're on the video phone? How did Marlon Rhymes get Orla to do those tricks? I will now show you. With Mr. Rhymes' cell phone. His cell phone? Are you implying you use an app? Miss Fay, see if you can issue Orla a command. Me? Can I do such a thing? You might be able to if you play a video of a whistle signal in it. If there's a video of the lifesaver trick, please play that. Before you do though, please put the practice dummy in the pool. A practice dummy? Alright. In it goes. There, it sank to the bottom. Now play a video. Orla is diving down, heading straight for the dummy! Haha! <laughs> what a smart girl you are, Orla! I guess the argument against this would be that maybe it just knows from the dummy being put in the water that it's supposed to perform the trick, is what the prosecution can come up with here. Lifesaver trick was a complete success, Mr. Nick! Thank you, Miss Faye. You were a big help. Now I have proof. Hmm. Unbelievable. You actually pulled it off. That was the lifesaver trick we saw yesterday. Is Miss Faye an orchid trainer now? No, Your Honor. I'll explain after we try one more trick. Now let's see if we can command all us to do the singing trick. Miss Faye, if there's a video of the singing trick, please play that. Certainly. Well, let's see. Is it this video? Oh my! Isn't she wonderful? That was the Swashbuckler Spectacular song! Ho ho! What a lovely singing voice! Hmm. It wasn't bad. By the way, how did Miss Faye give the Orca those commands? Marlon Rhymes is something on his phone that his girlfriend Azura Summers sent him. Their videos of Miss Summers issuing commands to Orla with a whistle. If they have Orla listen to the sounds of the signals, anyone at all could command Orla. Oh my! Anyone at all? Yes, I believe so, Your Honor. All they would have to do is play those videos. Mr. Wright, please submit those videos as evidence. I'm getting the sneaking suspicion the judge just wants to try it out for himself. Miss Fay. Could you send those videos to the TV phone here? Alright, certainly! They get really good connection. Got them! Alright, I'll try playing one. Well, that was a completely different song. So this was a training session a year ago, huh? But wait a minute. There's something about that song that bothers me. Yes, yeah, completely different. It's not fwee fwee, it's to do. 
to do not free. If the orca can be commanded using video on a cell phone, then that means that Marlon Rhymes could have manipulated the creature. Ah, Mr. Rhymes, you can't talk your way out of it now. Silence. Yeah, of course. Hmm. I have to commend you. That was very good proof. I concede Marlon Rhymes could have manipulated the orca, but isn't it true that the defendant could have done it as well? All she would have to do is use the whistle. The whistle she knows how to use so well. And she wouldn't have had to use those videos. Surely admit it's a possibility. She could have easily had normal the plume witnesses singing and the lifesaver trick. So he's trying to argue it was equally possible for Sasha as it was for Rhymes, is he? But is that true? Let me think about that for a minute. That's right. Those weren't just simple cries. It was singing. As I approached the pool, the killer whales suddenly started singing. It kept headbutting while it sang the swashbuckler spectacular song. The culprit made sure Mr. Plume heard the song and saw the lifesaver trick. Could Sasha have shown these two tricks to the witness? Hmm. I'm guessing not. Why would she, in most senses? But she could have opens up more doubt. She couldn't have is the only thing that kind of like makes it that Rhymes has kind of taken the information from elsewhere. No, I don't think Miss Buckler could have created the same conditions as the culprit. You challenge me to a battle? I hope your sword is sharpened. Let me see those sword skills of yours. Don't you worry, my sword is drawn and ready. My sword is evidence that the two tricks couldn't have been shown at the same time. Uh... I'm confused. What would be that evidence? Alright, the song in the video is different from the one in the uh, show. Next view is just the song. <laughs> it's quite a nice little video though, isn't it? <laughs> well, if it's a trick, then you need a trigger to perform it. It's either the phone... Oh, God. Evidence of two tricks couldn't be shown at the same time. All it performs one trick per signal. She can't do two at a time. It's the whistle. Take that! Mr. Plume said in a testimony that she witnessed these two tricks at the same time. However, that fact is inconsistent with how Orla performs tricks. How Orla performs tricks? What are you talking about? Orla can't perform two tricks at once. She performs only one trick per whistle signal. That's how she's been trained. Hmm. In other words, it would be just like with a dog. If you tell him to both sit and shake, he won't do them at the same time. Am I understanding it correctly? Yes, that's the idea, Your Honor. I wonder if the judge is a dog. <laughs> what a farce. So are you saying that the witness somehow managed to produce an impossible scenario? Ah, if the creature's own trainer can do it, how could I? Yes, it's a mystery, isn't it? But, boss... You don't have to agree so cheerfully. The defense is claiming that Marlon Rhymes manipulated the orca. But if you cannot explain fully how this was done, your argument doesn't hold water. If you can't straighten out your own theory, would you like me to straighten you out? Um, no thank you. Hmm, so all I can't do two tricks at a time, but Mr. Plume saw her do it. This logical inconsistency means there's a flaw somewhere. Was Mr. Plume lying? Well, the thing is, you can't... One of the ways of looking at this is you... It, where Norma was, was she was viewing something happening underwater, but she could hear the song. Which is silly to begin with anyway, because, yeah, I, I, I imagine... I, I don't know how well that would come through the tank. 
but we know Orla can't do true tricks at once. If she's hearing the song and Orla's doing one trick that she is visibly seeing, then she's not singing. How could Norma even hear it if she was singing? So was Mr. Plume lying? Or is it not true that Orla can't do two tricks at a time? Mr. Plume had no reason to lie about such a thing. If it really is impossible for Orla to perform two tricks at once, then maybe either the lifesaver trick or the singing trick was faked. Faked? Yes, maybe Orla only performed one of the tricks, but it was made to look like she performed two. Silence. Maybe. How do you expect to conduct a sword battle with conjecture? Sounds like I'd better present some evidence here, and fast. Although I'm concerned about your profuse sweating, Mr. Light, allow me to ask you. Which of the two was fake? The lifesaver trick or the singing trick? We saw the lifesaver trick being done, so it's definitely the song. That could have been played in the tannoy. She's, he's got, like, video of the song. The defense wishes to argue that the singing trick was faked. And on what grounds do you base your assertion that the singing trick was faked? Uh... Well, it's not the right song. I don't know. Currently, Orla was listening to, like, singing a different song? The show song on the video is different from the one De Plume heard. Okay, it's gotta be this, considering it actually has De Plume's name in this bit of evidence. Take that! This is a recording of a recent Swashbuckler Spectacular. In this recording, Orla sings the same song she sang for Miss Faye earlier. But Mr. Plume said that this song is different from the one sang a year ago. The song is different? Please listen to the song in the video from a year ago, sent to this cell phone. Yes, it sounds quite different from the song Orla sang for Miss Faye earlier. And yet, this is the same video Miss Faye used to issue the command to Orla to sing. By having Mr. Plume listen to the song recording the cell phone video, the true culprit made Mr. Plume think Orla was singing the song from a year ago. Only Marlon Rhymes, the owner of the cell phone videos, could have done this. Silence. But Mr. Plume said she heard the orca singing right in front of her. How do you claim he made her think that? That was the song recording played. I intend to explain that too, of course. What? The answer lies somewhere in the orca pool visitor's corridor. Marlon Rhymes played the song recording by using this. Oh, right up in the top left corner. There's the tannoy kind of like speaker system, yeah? Mr. Plume heard the song while she was in the Orca Pool Visitor's Corridor. There's a speaker in that corridor so that visitors can hear the Orca's sounds. Oh, okay, that explains a bit more. And you claim the song was played from that speaker. How? Here's how Rhymes played the song over the speaker in the Visitor's Corridor. Literally via... Well, what works with the tannoy? Stick the phone next to something that transmits. Oh, wait a second, that's it. I forgot it's shaped like a sword. The walkie-talkie! It's two aquariums to have communication. It can apparently also be used to broadcast inside the aquarium. Mr. Rhymes could broadcast the song in the video to the speaker by using a walkie-talkie. And he could get Orla to do a trick by letting her hear Miss Summer's whistle signal too. He played the singing through the speaker and he made Orla do the lifesaver trick. All of this was the doing of the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. Ah! This is what you did, isn't it, Mr. Rhymes? Ugh. Arr! You did it! Now we can save both Sasha and Orla! Just leave it to Captain Wright's swashbuckling and lawyers to win any case! I don't remember agreeing to that name. So it actually was possible for Mr. Rhymes to manipulate the Orca. I'm stunned! I see we'll need to hear more from this witness. Mr. Rhymes. The time has come for you to tell the court the truth. 
Oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> a poor swordfish. So I use a walkie-talkie, you say? Ah, sorry, but you're dead wrong, me bucko. It'd be impossible, says I. W what do you mean, impossible? I shall sing ye a little shanty, just in your scurry theory. Hark ye well now. Here we go. Here we go. Come in up, it's come with the ill beats. <laughs> Yo! Walkie talkie be broke for real! Mr. Moore's freestyle got no appeal! Broke before the plume on the scene! Broke before Rack could ever dream! Legit goof during clean time, I But Bill sucking lawyers being lies! That old Kyo don't listen to me, K? Kill the cat? Yo, you so cray cray! I feel like he's really bad at it. Like, I'm bad too, but I feel like he is also terrible at this rap malarkey. Here we go again with that flip-flop music. Broken? Of all the flimsy excuses. Bilge sucking? That was uncalled for. You probably broke it on purpose after the fact. Ah, that'd be untrue little lassie. Although I can't prove when it really was. Lucky be it for me, ye lawyers be the ones who have the proving to do. Ugh. After everything we've uncovered, he still won't admit it. Somehow I have to prove that he still could have done it. So the cross-examination comes. Time to press, isn't it then? I don't know what I'm looking for. Yo, walkie-talkie be broke for real, Mr. Lloyd's freestyle got no appeal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rhymes, are you sure it was your walkie-talkie that was broken? Of course I'd be sure. Although, it doesn't have me name written on it or anything. But you can't prove it not be me walkie-talkie now, can ye? I'll never save Sasha this way. I have to figure out how he got a command to Orla. So I've got to... Wait, have I got to prove it's not your uh, walkie-talkie? If Rhymes could get a command to the Orca, your fury crumbles. Everything you've done will all go up in smoke. I be not on the prosecution side, neither, mind ye. The defendant be innocent, says I. But either way, me walkie-talkie was broken and that be the truth. It's full pyro now. Broke before the plume on the scene. Broke before rock could ever dream. Yeah. Hold it. Do you have some way of proving that statement? Silence. The burden of proof is on you. If you can't do that, then we can end this cross-examination right now. Ugh. Ahoy! Yo, 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 ho! Proof that it broke? Bro, you a joke! Lag even a second and you gonna choke! <laughs> I wanna press on every word! Nope, judge gonna judge undeterred! You gonna front? Then bring the pain! Or stop and walk away in shame! Oh, he makes me so mad! We're gonna come up with our own freestyle, boss! Let's get him back with evidence instead, shall we? No singing? Witness, please continue your testimony about the walkie-talkie. Legit goof Joe and clean time, I but Bill sucking lawyer spinning lies. Sure, whatever. I don't know what I'm going for at all. Seems like I've got to prove something like it's not his walkie-talkie according to the first statement though. He made a big blunder. What happened? After I helped Sasha with the clean, I dropped it by accident and broke it. You wish to see it? I still have it with me. Hmm. It does indeed appear to be broken. Haha. <laughs> when you walk talkie broken, there'd be no way I could have done what you said. I could have given the orca any commands. When you walk talkie broke, isn't that just so convenient? Just smashed it under the pew there. Mr. Rhymes, I think you broke it on purpose. Miss Lawyer, none of your false accusations if you please. Also, you missed a good porpoise pun then. I broke it on purpose? Where be your proof? Uh, I I don't have any proof. If his walkie-talkie was broken, it throws a monkey wrench into my whole theory. Why did you let Pearls borrow his cell phone so casually yesterday? He must have already been confident I wouldn't be able to prove anything. Ha <laughs> ha, you never get near me to agree that pox door could be innocent. If something be not done about her, she'll get Sasha one day too. 
I will kill the captain. It weren't me. Full pirate. Hmm. So you intend to continue to claim the defendant is innocent, do you? But I won't stand for that. Now then. Right, Dono, what's your next move? Your Honor, I would like to examine that walkie-talkie if you don't mind. Certainly. Here you are. Let's see if there's any way to tell when the walkie-talkie was broken. If you gave all of that command, then it couldn't have been broken at the time. Oh, okay, we're getting to actually examine it. Tap the slide on the bottom screen to rotate the evidence. Tap again if you notice anything of interest. You can also zoom in and out to get a better look. Now let's check every last inch of it for anything off. Well, it's obviously not going to be on the front because that's too obvious, he says. Well, I think we found our obvious. Huh? Look at these. They look like tooth marks. Hey, you're right. A bite this big. I wonder if it was Orla. Would that mean it wouldn't be your walkie-talkie then? Wait, a walkie-talkie with tooth marks? Didn't we hear a story like that just yesterday? To the documents! Shipley's walkie-talkie hasn't been found. We can see that it is very missing. Is there anything else that like can show those marks on it though? It was the walkie-talkie Azura used right up until her death. Ah! In the middle of the show, the orca brought Azura up to the surface in her mouth. She left two marks in Azura's walkie-talkie. The captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him so he'd never forget. Rhyme said that this walkie-talkie was his, but could it be... Ha! <laughs> know all about it, don't you agree? Ah, time to give it up, Mr. Lawyer. Forget the orca, just save Sasha, says I. I can't do that. Now that I'm finally a lawyer again, how could I hold my head up if I made my client so miserable? Ah, a stubborn one ye be. So by the look of it then, if we go to the last name, don't walk, yo, don't listen to me, K, kill the cat, yo, you so cray cray. <laughs> it looks like I'm looking maybe at the first statement. Like, his walkie talkie, it's not his at all. Right? It, it's the captain's walkie-talkie. Should we press this just in case? Hold it. There could have been some other way besides the walkie-talkie to issue the command. Silence. Yes, the orca could have received a signal from the defense whistle. Is this the point you're trying to concede? Objection. No, that's not what I'm saying. Some other way besides the whistle. Oh, here we go again. Rotten lawyer, black eyed samurai, time for a freestyle drive by! Sasha is legit, that's the truth. Orca is guilty, you gotta admit. What? I'm guessing you're rhyming legit and admit? I don't understand it. I tell ya, it'd be all the orcas doing. If you don't belay all that bilge, I shall diss you with some rap. Oh no! Ugh. I believe you've already been doing that. Hmm, we tried pressing, but it didn't change anything. Oh, I don't know about that. His statements might not have changed, but the meaning of one of them may have. Really? You call something? And that one statement just might be the breakthrough we need. It's gotta be the first statement. So we're just basically within the pressing, he talks about not proving it's like not his. Whereas, we can say that there was another walkie-talkie missing. So is that what we're going with here? Objection! Seems about right. The walkie-talkie the witness brought with him to the court today may have been stolen from the victim, Mr. Jack Shipley. Our query may look like a band of pirates, but fury? Arr. According to the defendant's statement, Mr. Shipley talked to her on this walkie-talkie before his death. However, no walkie-talkie was found near the victim's body. Arm, he thinks the police just didn't look hard enough. Besides, the captain's walkie-talkie wasn't broken. Be that not right? This walkie-talkie has naught to do with mine. 
I think it probably has everything to do with a lot of things that have happened. So is this how we're going to basically finger you as the criminal here, Rhymes? We'll find out as you keep eating your swordfish next time on Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. Are we approaching the end of this considering we're in like a second half of the trial? Of the second day? We'll see next time. For maybe, maybe, who knows what pacing, the conclusion. See you then. Bye-bye.